Hi, Jens. Hello. Hope you're all good. Um, first, you're going to start with team news ahead of a third game in, in what, eight days? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I know the schedule, <laughs> so it's the third, the third game uh, in a week. But um, yeah, uh, it's good to, for me to see uh, the goals. Uh, yeah, in the in, in the games, um, in the how uh, they are supporting in the game. So for me, in the, the upcoming game, uh, Arsenal is one of the easiest game in the season. Because no one expects uh, a win or, th or um, yeah, that we are really successful, um, so it's easy to go um, to to this game. But mm, yeah, we should be well prepared because you know on some days, um, yeah, it's possible it's possible to to win these games, and uh, I'm sure if we can bring 100% of our performance from uh, Wednesday, uh, from Wednesday um, yeah we, we have a chance and yeah with a little bit of luck on our side um, yeah maybe we can uh, steal a point or stole stole steal. steal a point I understand your attitude towards Arsenal they are very successful is it a bit disappointing for you personally that you go there having played two games already this week you haven't got your full squad ready quite yet you've only had a few weeks with with your team would you like to have gone to Arsenal when you're really ready for them more oh, good question um, yeah um, it would be better if we can uh, prepare a longer time with the team with the whole team uh, like in the preseason but it is how it is so situation is uh, yeah how it is and um, for me, it's better Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea is coming now, because for us, I think we have to 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 keep an eye on uh, for the big games for us uh, from from the uh, against the other teams. So maybe it's good that Arsenal is coming now. And I said it uh, before, I'm not going into this game to lose it. So we want to win this game 100%. Um, if we if we are if we can if we if we are um, yeah if we are good enough um, yeah that we will see on on Sunday. Tell us about your fifth signing of the window, the former Arsenal keeper herself, Lydia Williams. Yeah, we are glad to have Lydia here to convince her from the uh, yeah what we from our from our uh, uh, strategy from our vision in, in, in the future. I think Lydia gives us a lot of experience of international games, a lot of international games. She knows the uh, WSL uh, from Arsenal. So yeah, we are happy to have her here. But for me, it's not the situation now is to, to, to speak so many times about Lydia because um, Megan did also a great job in the in the in the cup game, and uh, it is uh, a, yeah a challenge for both now. Where we have a third with Katie, and we need this challenge in the in the squad that um, no one can is, is safe to play is is, is uh, safe to play, and no one has a guarantee to play, and um, yeah that's the reason why Lydia is here and um, yeah to to get to get in the in the in the in the fight for the number one. Thank you, Jens. Let's turn to Julia, who's celebrating just over a year at the club, Julia. Yeah. Can you believe it's been a year? <laughs> no, it's, been, it's gone quite quick. But it's been a good year. How have you found it? It took you a while, didn't it, to settle in and become a first-team regular? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like It's uh, it's hard to come into a new league and not knowing what you're up against. Um, but I think like when I got the hang of it, I've proven myself and, yeah. And is the league how you expect it to be? And, and how would you describe how it has been then? No, it's a tough league, like much running, quick change of directions, like everything. It's much harder than what I was used to before. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a great league and you can see it in every game. It's been a bit disruptive for you. You've had three coaches, of course, Hope, Amy, who coached you anyway, but also now Jens. How's that been? Um, no, I think like... 
us as a group has been managing it good and like it it happens in football um some sometimes players leave sometimes coaches leave and you just have to adapt uh, to a new situation and yeah it is what it is the it's the football world I know Jens yeah, is sat alongside you, so you have to be careful what you say. But how are you finding his training methods? And how, how do they differ, perhaps? <laughs> uh, no, I think it's been a really good two weeks. Um, we have trained a lot harder, and we Jens knows what he wants, and I think uh, the whole team uh, adapts to that and like gives more than they might have given before. Um, it feels like we're on a better page right now. And do you need to add more goals to your game? Would that be the, 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 the missing piece of the jigsaw? Yeah, exactly. Um, need to come a bit higher up um, and we have to keep the ball higher up uh, for me to do that. So hopefully some more goals to come. And how do you view playing Arsenal? Your manager says it's, it's an easy game because it, it's a hard one to win. How do you see it? No, of course, like it's... Well, I've played Arsenal twice now, I think, and it's it's been hard games, but... I know what we can do and I know if we just give our, uh, if we have confidence in ourselves and give 100%, I don't see any issue with hopefully taking points. Um, so we just have to trust ourselves and do what we're good at and yeah. And finally for me, the gap to Leicester is now just four points. Do you worry about that? What, what are you told by, by the coaching staff? Do you look at the table or do you not look yet? Like, you can't look at it too much. Of course, we know what position we're in. Um, so we just have to look forward and take every game as important as it is. Uh, we have to have points and we want to climb the table. So, yeah, can't stare at it too much. Good luck on Sunday night. Thank you. Thank you. Dan. <coughs> Thanks, Taylor. Hi, Jens. Hope you're well. How are you? Um, I just want to ask, against Arsenal, you'll obviously have to do quite a lot of defending, um, but how do you kind of strike the balance between attack and defence in your team? Yeah, good question. Um, yeah, but I think you, you said it right. We have to find the balance. I think um, we have to keep an eye on the defence work, yep. But also we want to create chances, because if you have standing 90 minutes in the, in the back of the bus, um, they have the quality to, to destroy you or to break you. So uh, we have to find the balance. Um, and I think uh, Julia said it totally right. We have to go on the pitch with self-confidence, trust in, in, in our trains too. And um, yeah, showing this face, uh, what we have shown on, on Wednesday, this ag aggressive, uh, aggressive style to play, uh, this defending style to play, we uh, considered no goal and this it happens over a year or uh, over a year I think uh, they they uh, um, uh, considered uh, goals so we, we, we did it uh, to, to keep the clean shade on on, on on Wednesday and so it um, yeah it makes me optimistic optimistic to to, to yeah, that we can 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 show this face on Wednesday to, uh, on on Sunday too, and the, the girls now understand what we want to see from 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 them, and um, I, th I think we take the right step in the right uh, uh, direction, and I'm really really looking forward for this game, um, yeah to to beat uh, the best players in the league to to get in a challenge to get um, yeah in this in this game with them. You mentioned the clean sheet there. Obviously, you've got a couple of new players in the the defence at the minute, Guro and um, Zoe as well. You know how how pleased are you with how quickly they're kind of gelling and you know they're kind of bonding with the rest of the team. Um, I think it was important to sign them. Um, we have more possibilities now to uh, change uh, uh, um, the formation. We can uh, play with uh, uh, three centre-backs now, we can play with uh, two centre-backs. Uh, so it gives me a lot of more options and the quality of the players are also uh, um, yeah, great and important for us. And the both uh, yeah, um, brought a, a lot, a big input and uh, uh, yeah, a big input for the team. And just one final one. Um, obviously, five new faces at the club so far. Um, you know, are you expecting to bring anybody else in? You know, during the remainder of the window. 
yeah we are um yeah screening the market so um yeah let's see what's the next time in the next uh how many days 10 12 days i think where the window uh, transfer is open uh, let's see what's what's happened then and there um maybe we will we, we will sign uh, one or two uh, new players but I, I, I said it in the past, uh, we, we will sign new players if they are good enough for us, good enough on the pitch and good enough for the locker rooms. And uh, this is important. And if, if it's not happened, I'm not really disappointed because um, I know we have a good team right now. And so um, everything is fine. Thanks, Jens. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank um, you. Just one quick one for Julia. Um, obviously, you've got some new teammates now at the club. Um, you know, just just tell us a little bit about the characters, really, and what they bring to the team. Um, no, everyone is who has come in has been really good and adapting really quick to both the pitch and on in the changing room. Uh, it's been really easy. Um, yeah, to have them on board and yeah, so it's been great with new faces coming in and the old faces taking care of them and yeah so i think they're adapting quick that's brilliant thanks so much thank, thank you. you hey emma hi just a quick one for, for julia i just wondered um from a player's perspective obviously in an ideal world when a new manager comes in he'd like to have a few weeks or a summer or whatnot to, to obviously um sort of learn, learn the new styles and philosophies and things but when you're kind of in the position that you're in where you're you're sort of near near the bottom of the table and you know it's a little bit um sort of as a uh, well not quite in a relegation scrap yet but could potentially be how challenging is it for you as a player to sort of um kind of get on board and in, in the confidence of, of kind of the new manager's um you know philosophy that, that he's trying to bring in mm, of course in an ideal world would would have those couple of weeks in pre-season um but i think the whole squad has been opening um open to adapt and like listen to what Jens now wants and what he's expecting of us um and like as a team you just have to get on board with it, get on board with it as quick as possible cuz yeah otherwise it's hard <laughs> um but i think the squad is doing a great job